guys it's crystal here and welcome to my youtube channel now it's getting interesting isn't it we haven't had any of this horrible behavior for a long long time and now it's started up again all since he's got his kids upstairs alexa what's the time please it's 3 29 p.m it's 3 29 p.m right so I'm going to let you know guys what has happened, um, I've not been feeling too happy because my cat's gone missing. You know the cat that's on YouTube, the tortoiseshell cat with the bright green eyes, my cat's gone missing and it went missing this morning. So I fed, she's called Nikki, she answers to the name of Nikki. Um, Basically, I fed my cat last night. I fed her, fed her last night and she was in the bedroom with Snowball, the white cat. They've been together for over 10 years now. Um, Nikki has never jumped out of the window. Never, she's never jumped out of the window. Never. So this morning, my two cats were in the bedroom. They were in the bedroom together. I fed them. So when I went out for a walk this morning, the two cats were in the bedroom together. I fed them. Basically, I took Max out for a walk and it was really quiet. I went out earlier than I normally do and I'm normally out for about 45 minutes. We're talking about up Corey's Road onto the Rich Rochester Riverside opposite the co-op um, in Rochester, Kent. So Corey's Road and up the top, that's where I walk my dog. And I, I walk my dog and um, I got into the field. I'd been up since 6 o'clock this morning because the kid upstairs had woken me up. So I was very tired. I was very tired and, and, and a bit fed up, but I walked around the field, the builders were working. When I came back in, I didn't know my cat was missing because I feed her at lunchtime. So I went out to approximately 10 o'clock this morning. I didn't realise my cat was missing until about 12 o'clock in the afternoon when I went to feed my cats again. I went to call Nikki, Nikki, and she wasn't there. She wasn't there. Snowball was, sat on top of the wardrobe, but Nikki had gone. Um, so I, 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 I've looked up online what to do when you think you've lost a cat. Um, she is an indoor cat. She's not used to being outside, so she's an indoor cat. The window was slightly open. I wouldn't have said it was enough for a cat to jump out, to be honest, but maybe she did jump out of the window. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I've called her. She's nowhere in the, ha in the flat. I, I mean, she's a very vocal cat. She's very vocal. She meows. She, like, talks. She meow, meow. She's always talking. I can't hear anything anywhere. When I came back, the neighbour to, to the left of me was on the balcony in her shorts and her sausage dog was barking at me. And the blonde woman had a pug dog and she was walking off. So I don't know if someone's actually taken my cat, taken her somewhere and dumped her. I haven't got any, a clue. So either she's jumped out the window and run off, or someone has taken my cat. I don't know. She's not one for jumping out the window. No, she's been gone, I, I don't know, probably since this morning when I left my flat. I would say between half past ten, between half past ten and half past eleven, she's gone missing. Um... I've told my son she's gone missing because she's his cat. I phoned my mum up and my mum told me to call the police. 
and I don't know what uh, what can the police do for a missing cat. My mother's told me to call the police. Then she rang me back and said, your son needs to come down. I said, my son does not need to come down. It's not, the cat's not going to miraculously appear if my son comes down. So I was talking to my mother on the balcony. Two women walked opposite my neighbour's car, the navy blue Ford Mondeo. They looked like they were going for a night out. They had short mini dresses on. Long hair down their back, long silky blonde hair, long dark hair all down their back. And I'm distressed that my cat's missing. I'm not interested in what I fucking look like when my cat's missing. Some man had shouted, Ugh! I was distressed that my cat was missing. That guy with the dog lunatic, that dog had jumped all over my back. Now if that guy lets that black dog jump all over me again, I'll be calling 999. He knows what he's doing. He's let that dog on several people jumping all over them. He jumped over Charlie and knocked him all over. If that happens again, I'm calling 999, right? Now, if anyone's seen a tortoiseshell cat in the Rochester Riverside area near Corey's Road, um, please can you either email me um, at my email address, alicemarshall217 at gmail.com. That's alicemarshall at 217 at gmail.com um, I'm not going to give people my phone number at the moment I should be putting something out on Facebook because someone might have taken my cat to the kennels well the, I don't know the animal pounds at Midway Council I don't know My, the, Max has gone missing and he was taken to the Medway dog pound and it cost £60 for my son to get the dog out of the dog pound. It cost him 60 quid. Can, can you understand where this worrying what you look like, right, is getting out of control and it's really ridiculous? A pet's gone missing here, you wankers. See you later. Oh, I've got a parcel. I'm Crystal. This package has come from Germany. This, they're banging on the ceiling with their feet while I'm trying to do a video. This parcel has come from Germany. It's made in China. Camera. Where's the camera part? There you go. It's like a spy camera. You clip it on your t-shirt. If that guy with the dog lets him jump all over me again, he won't even know I'm wearing a camera, will he? Clip on camera from China. Clip on camera. I've now got a clip on camera, so if that guy, um, I was talking to my mate and this idiot lets his black dog jump all over my back. It's a wanker.
It sounds like they're uh, scraping the furniture upstairs. Perhaps they've got fleas. See you later.